What's up everyone, this is Cybernat8610, and today, as always, opening up something kind of different for Yu-Gi-Oh! We have a uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Structure Deck Dinosaur's Rage Special Set. Uh, this is actually kind of interesting. I went to Toys R Us the other day, of course, hunting for those freaking Amiibos. Uh, I know, the, the struggle on that. Uh, of course, I shouldn't have got into that, and now I'm collecting those like crazy. I have a problem. Anyway, though, uh, since I was there, I just kind of looked at what they had for Yu-Gi-Oh cards, and normally they're a little overpriced at Toys R Us, but I found this, and this is something I have not seen in a long time. I don't think I've seen one of these on Amazon or eBay or anything like that in a very long time, and uh, this is actually pretty interesting because it includes Five-Headed Dragon, a monster that has 5,000 attacks. It's one of those notorious monsters I remember from a long time ago and everything, and it was always so weird that it was in this structure deck. So, I thought it'd be fun to open this and see what we get. Also, uh, it includes a booster pack in it as well. Let me see. I want to open it without damaging it, though, because I'd like to have it, you know, as kind of display as well, because I think it's pretty cool. I love seeing these older structure decks again. So, this is what you get from it. You actually get Five-Headed Dragon, as you can see here. Unfortunately, not really protected well, but it looks like he's fine. Five-Headed Dragon. Where it's 5,000 attack, 5,000 defense. It requires uh, five Dragon-type monsters to fuse into it. And like I said, it was one of those cards that was always notorious for... You know, it's sort of like blue -Eyes Ultimate Dragon back then, where we were all kind of in awe of this card. And still am. I mean, come on, it's an awesome card still. You actually get a pack, which uh, is uh, Power of the Duelist, so uh, that's pretty cool. I always thought they should do something like that for Structure Decks anyway. Add a pack of cards, make it a little bit more worth it for people. You get your, of course, your playmat here, <laughs> old paper playmat, and uh, you can kind of see how this really dates the uh, Structure Deck by seeing the zones on this. Of course, no sign of pendulum zones or anything on that. And, of course, not an extra deck. It is fusion deck zones. So, kind of interesting. I don't know. I still laugh at seeing stuff like that. It's kind of like whenever you see uh, spell cards that are called magic cards, because that's what they were back then. And uh, then you have, of course, you know, kind of your advertisement. Talking about the other dinosaur monster stuff, too. So it's kind of cool. And the combo stuff. Kind of what we're used to nowadays, even with the deck list. What was so funny about this, too, is that it would include Five-Headed Dragon in this. Why? I mean, this is a structure deck of dinosaurs. So it's it's kind of funny to see this. Here's the rule. Of course, rules drastically different on a lot of stuff. I guess the basics are the same, right? And uh, there you actually have the structure deck itself. Let me try to get through the plastic on this. I always hate the plastic on these. And there we go. Finally got through the plastic. That's always fun. Or at least I have a hard time with that. I didn't see like one of those tab things that make it easier. Anyway, we have Superconductor Tyranno. I uh, remember thinking it was awesome to see this card back then. It's still pretty cool. It was cool to see that back then, to see a lot of the uh, dinosaur cards kind of come back. So yeah, Baby Sarasaurus. I mean, there's so much stuff. Tyranno Infinity, Jurassic World, which I guess is kind of fitting. We got Jurassic World, uh, the movie, <laughs> that was announced sort of recently. I like, too, how this whole thing is out of order, too. Usually you kind of have, you know, your spells with your spells and all that. Heavy Storm. <laughs> and, uh, you know, you kind of have everything kind of in order like that, but not with this one. Magic Arm Shield is pretty cool. Black Tyranno. Hyper Hammerhead, you know, there's a lot of really cool ones. Lightning Vortex, I remember using that for a long time and everything too. So, I don't know, it's a pretty interesting structure deck. I guess it's considered to be one of the weaker structure decks, because unfortunately, Dinosaurs really didn't get the best support, at least for then. I guess later on we had Dino Rabbit and stuff, and the Evos, Evosaurus and all that kind of stuff, and that made a difference for Dinosaurs. But unfortunately, dinos Dinosaurs really are one of those types that don't get a whole lot of support. Like, I'd love to see Drax kind of come back too, because we're seeing all the Dual Terminal Hidden Arsenal stuff come back. Like, come on, bring back Drax. We got the Necron you know, for Ice Barrier, kind of like Gishki kind of fusion going on in a way, and, and including some other archetypes, but do something for Drax. I'd love to see more dinosaurs out there, because I mean, come on, the freaking dinosaurs, who doesn't love dinosaurs? Especially as a kid, dinosaurs are amazing, so of course, you know, bring back another structure deck and stuff with that. Now let's open up our pack to see what we get from it. This actually is kind of fitting, too, because there are some dinosaurs in Power of the Duelist, so that's why they included it. And I guess it was the new pack for when this came out, I believe? I don't know. See? There you go. Baby Sarasaurus. And we have a Cyclone Blade. Unfortunately, no hollow. Mausoleum of the Emperor. That would come in handy for this structure deck, I guess. So, uh, yeah, unfortunately, we only got a rare from our pack, but oh well. I still love to see packs like this, like actual packs 
in uh, Structure Decks. It give you more of a reason, even if it was like two bucks higher or something. I don't know. If they can make it worth it, I think it would be awesome. Uh, but yeah, tell me what you guys think on these. I really think they should bring something like this back. And including, you know, promo cards like this. Like, getting Five-Headed Dragon was awesome, even though it didn't really make sense. It's a Dinosaur Structure Deck. Why would you have the Dragon Fusion? I don't know. It's Konami. doesn't have to make sense. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this opening. Like I said, just kind of found it randomly at Toys R Us, hunting for Amiibos. I know I have a problem. But uh, yeah, if I go back there and and hunt for more Amiibos and stuff. I'll see if they have any other older uh, Yu-Gi-Oh packs and stuff too. But yeah, tell me what you guys think on this. Of course, uh, thank you for watching. Make sure to comment, rate, and subscribe for more uh, just kind of crazy openings. We have to do a lot of older openings, obscure openings, and of course, anything new that comes out for Yu-Gi-Oh, we do openings for. So be sure to subscribe if you want to keep updated and all that too. So of course, uh, thank you for watching. Make sure to comment, rate, and subscribe. And of course, I will catch you guys later. See ya. Hope you guys have enjoyed my latest video, be sure to subscribe for more Yu-Gi-Oh! videos, as well as check out my other two channels, Cyber Night Games for Let's Plays, and also a Cyber Night CCG for Card Fight Vanguard openings. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys later. See ya!